You're listening to Unite Radio. Once again, I'm Will. And I'm Krista. Thanks for joining us. Now, friends, lately, we've been learning something super important. The Ten Commandments. Last time, we talked about the Fifth Commandment. We're halfway through. Woohoo! To start today's show, Will and I wanted to play a game with you to help you remember the first five commandments. We're going to say the meaning of one of the commandments, and you have to guess which commandment it belongs to. You can play by yourself or make it a fun competition with whomever may be listening with you. Ready? Which commandment means God's name is special? The third commandment. Next, which commandment means put God first? The first commandment. Get it? Put God first. So it's the first commandment. Next, which commandment means have a day for rest? If you guessed anything but the fourth commandment, you're wrong. Next, which commandment means worship God as the one true God? It's the second commandment. Last question. Which commandment means show respect for parents? You may have figured this one out by the process of elimination. It's the fifth commandment. How many did you guess right? Those were a lot to remember, but I think our friends are ready to learn some more. Me too. Today, we're talking about two commandments. The first we're going to talk about is the sixth commandment. Exodus 20, verse 13 says, You shall not murder. Murder means to unjustly take someone's life. This commandment shows us that life is special to God. All people, you, me, Will, and everyone you know are made in God's image. That means God made us different than the rest of creation, and he made us special. No one should choose to take another person's life unjustly. Right now, you may be thinking, this commandment's easy to follow. I haven't murdered anyone, and I don't plan on it either. But Jesus teaches us another way you and I can obey this commandment. When Jesus was on earth, he explained that this commandment is also talking about what's in our hearts. It's not just about our actions. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus explains that hating someone in your heart is like murder. So you can remember the sixth commandment by saying hating equals murder. Can you say that with us? Hating Hating equals equals murder. murder. Now that might sound crazy. How is hating someone and murdering someone similar? Well, like Krista said, it's all about your heart. Your heart is the part of you that thinks, feels, and makes Mm -hmm. choices. The way you think about people matters to God. God wants you to think about other people the way he does. When you hate someone, you're saying your opinion on that person is more important than God's. Hating someone also affects how you treat that person. Maybe you think you're good at hiding your true feelings by treating them nicely, but hiding your feelings isn't really the point. Exactly. God wants you and me to treat people well because we are trying to love them the way God does. This can be hard sometimes, but if you believe in Jesus, he is with you to help you. He can help you change your heart so you can love others like he does. Here are three ideas to help you think about others the way God does. If you have a pencil and paper, write them down as we share. First, talk to God about your feelings. Maybe you hate someone because they're mean to you or did something that hurt your feelings. Talk to God about what happened and how it made you feel. Then ask God to help you know the best way to respond to the situation. It's also good to talk to an adult you trust like your mom or dad. They might help point you to the right thing to do. Second, think of ways you can show love to that person. Maybe you can tell them they have a really cool t-shirt or offer to share something with them like a snack or a toy. Making an effort to show love can help change your heart and show God's love to others. Finally, pray for the person. You can pray that they will learn about God's love and believe in Jesus as their Savior if they don't already believe. Sometimes, people hurt others because they're trying to live life their own way instead of God's way. You can pray that person believes in Jesus so their life and heart can be changed. Exactly. Let's say the Sixth Commandment together again. Hating Hating equals equals murder. murder. Now, let's think about the Seventh Commandment. It's in Exodus 20, verse 14. You shall not commit adultery. Adultery means treating someone who isn't your husband or wife like they are your husband or wife. We remember the seventh commandment by saying marriage is special. Say that with us, friends. Marriage Marriage is is special. special. Now, you are probably nowhere near getting married. 
But this commandment is still important to know because just like how you think about others matters to God, the way you think about marriage matters to God. God created marriage and he has the right to say what marriage is and to tell us how marriage works. God says that marriage is between one man and one woman for life. This is a special relationship God gave to people. By thinking about marriage the way God does and obeying God's rules for married people and non-married people, you're keeping marriage special. Totally. Being married or single has different responsibilities and benefits. It's not right to try to act like you're not married when you are or act married when you're not. Those actions and thoughts matter to God and he wants us to treat marriage as special as he made it to be. Let's say the seventh commandment together. Marriage, marriage is, is special. special. That's all the time we have for today. Join us next time to learn more about the Ten Commandments. Bye! Bye.